Hi, this is Don Farber with Vineyard Soft Corporation, and I'd like to welcome you to this training session on query designing in the Knowledge Sync solution. The topic for this training session will be the creation of calculated fields within your Knowledge Sync queries. And in fact, this is part two of a two part training session on the creation and use of calculated fields. So we recommend that you have listened to part one before proceeding with the current training session. For this session, we're going to continue working in a CRM or sales application, and we're going to create a calculated field that allows us to identify those sales opportunities that are open but are due to close within a certain number of days. So let's open up this query and jump right to the Columns tab. In order to create a calculated field, we will click on the button called Add Calculated Column to Query, and that will bring us into the Knowledge Sync Calculation Wizard. Now, although you can manually type in simple calculations such as add, subtract, multiply, and divide right from the Calculated Column workbox at the bottom of this window, for more sophisticated calculations such as date-based calculations, we provide you with a number of pre-configured calculations that you can choose from. And if we scroll down this list a little ways till we see a number of calculations that start with the word date diff, we can find one that calculates the difference in days between two dates. And that's exactly the calculation we wish to perform in this query. So we'll double click on that calculation. Knowledge Sync automatically puts in the start of this command down in the workbox, and now we have just two steps left. And those steps are the identification of the two fields that we wish to perform this calculation on. And when you're doing a date-based calculation, it's always important that the first date that you choose be the older or earlier of the two dates that you wish to compare. In this case, we want to compare the current date to the forecast close date of opportunities that are not yet closed. Therefore, those dates are most likely going to be in the future. So the first date that we're going to choose will be the current date. So I'll go down to my list of date variables and choose the current date value. Do note that this current date value assumes that you're using a date format according to the regional settings of the server on which Knowledge Sync is installed. Now there are some applications that hard code dates in different formats, such as the one you see just beneath where it starts out with YYYY for the year, followed by MM for the month, followed by DD for the day. So do check to make sure you're aware of the date format that the application you're monitoring stores its dates in. Now, having chosen the current date as the earlier of the two dates, I simply need to finish by choosing the other or later of the two dates, and that would be the opportunity's estimated close date. So I find that field under my list of database columns, double click on it, Knowledge Sync puts it into the appropriate place within that calculation, and this calculation is now done. I can hit my OK button and return to my Columns tab. If I scroll down to the very bottom of my columns, I will see that the newly created calculated column now shows up as the most recent or last column. If I wish to go back into that column to view it or edit it, I can simply click on the list button that appears in that field. However, I'm satisfied with the format of that calculation, but I do need to change the customized name associated with that newly created calculated field. And in fact, let's have this field called days underscore till underscore close. Now, at this point, it's a good idea to preview the results of your query to make sure that your calculation is working correctly. So I'm going to jump over to my Preview tab, and I have three matching opportunities. Let's find the estimated close date first, and here we have our estimated close dates of January 3rd, February 4th, and January 24th. And now, if we go to the very end of our list of fields, we should see Knowledge Sync's calculation for those days. And let's just move our fields around a little bit to make them easier to read. Days till close, 12, 44, and 33. Those certainly do sound like the appropriate calculations. Now, 
For the purpose of this particular query, we wanted to retrieve only those opportunities that are due to close within a certain number of days. That's the X days that you see in the query's description. What that means is that we also need to create a calculated field for filtering. So let's go to our Filters tab. Once again, click on Add Calculated Column. Let's find the appropriate date diff function. Here it is. We're going to compare the current date to the opportunities estimated close date and once again say OK. Now we only want to know about those opportunities that are due to close within a certain number of days. So we're going to say for this filter that the calculated value is, and we're going to say it is, let's choose less than or equal to, and then a certain value. Now, of course, we could hard code this compare value to be 7 days, 14 days, 30 days, or whatever is appropriate, but I prefer to leave it parameter driven. That will enable me to reuse this query in multiple events and have each event look for a different number of days as its triggering threshold. Now if I do choose to leave this filter as parameter driven, I do need to specify the optional prompt, the prompting text that someone's going to get to allow them to enter that number of days they wish to check for. So let's say that the op due to close within how many days? And that is our optional prompt. And now let's again test the query. So op due to close within how many days? Well, I believe that we had one that was maybe 7, 14, 44 days. So let's say 30 days as an example and see how many records we get as a result. Just one. And let's take a look at this record. It's estimated close date is January 3rd, 2011, and if we scroll to the very end, we can find that the number of days between today and that date is in fact 12 days, and yes indeed, is less than our 30-day threshold. At this point, we are now ready to save and close this query. We have created a calculation based upon the number of days between the current date and the estimated close date of an opportunity. But you know, before we close this query, let's just go back into the calculation wizard just to talk about some of the other calculations that are available to you. Now up at the top of the calculation wizard, you can see that there are a number of fields that start with the word convert. Although not used terribly often, every now and then you'll find the need to change the format of a field within an application's database. And whether it's changing a date time field to show only the date or only the time, or some of these other operations, they are here for you to choose from. The most commonly used operations are date-related operations, whether it's adding or subtracting a certain number of days or hours to a value in a database, or the function we just took, calculating the number of days between two dates. Uh, there are, again, a number of these date-related calculations that you can choose from. And then down at the bottom of the list, you'll notice a few other functions, just one I wish to focus on because I think it's quite useful, and that's the function called substring. Substring allows you to retrieve just part of a value from a database field. So, for example, if a database field stores someone's social security number and you only wish to retrieve the first three digits or the last four digits, you can do so by using the substring function. One last note before we wrap up this training session, and that is that the calculations that you see here are all based and are tailored according to the kind of database that you're having Knowledge Sync monitor. You might notice here that it says calculations to perform SQL Server. That SQL Server reference that you see there is telling you that the kind of database that you're monitoring is a SQL Server database and thus all of the functions that you see here are all very specifically designed to conform to SQL Server requirements. If, for example, you are connecting to and monitoring data in an Oracle database, this would say Oracle and the names and formatting of these functions would also be different. Likewise, if you are connecting to a Microsoft Access database, a pervasive SQL database, or other kinds of application databases, these functions will change accordingly. All right, so let's go back to our main query. Let's say save and close. And we are now done giving this query a calculated field 
to calculate the number of days until an opportunity is due to close. Thank you very much for your time for this training session. We look forward to working with you in future KnowledgeSync training sessions, both on query designing and in the overall event design process. Thank you very much.